All right, hello everyone. Um, so praise the Lord, I was baptized and I received the spirit when I was eight years old and the Lord's been working in my life ever since. Um, just a quick testimony. Um, so I know a couple, it was like a few weeks ago now, but Josh was kind of leading, he was giving the talk and he was talking about, um, like he was asking people to come up and give their testimonies about provision and like, or protection or something Lord's done for you. And, um, and I was kind of sitting there thinking like, oh, what can I, what can I say? I don't know. Like there's so many things, but I can't. And then um, I got to listen to all the beautiful testimonies that other people shared. And that was pretty inspiring. Um, well, I have one. <laughs> um, so when I was in Hawaii, and this also leads into another one actually, um, and it kind of reminded me of the one thing that happened to me like a couple, like a few years ago now. Um, but when we were in Hawaii, Ben, so the grandparents were babysitting Freya. They were watching Freya on the beach and she was like playing with her sand and I could watch her. I could like look back and I could see her. Um, and then, so it was Ben, Siobhan, Josh, and myself, and we were out swimming and the waves got really like really big um and I was body surfing the boys were boogie boarding and Siobhan was with me body surfing and I went to look back and check on Freya to make sure she was okay as moms do right as moms do and I didn't see this wave that came and they were getting pretty heavy and this is the moment I realized I wasn't 20 or in, in my 20s anymore um but this wave came and hit me so hard when I wasn't looking and it was huge it was huge it got Siobhan too and it got Ben but it got me pretty bad and I ended up getting um taken over the barrel and slammed into the sand and luckily I didn't get slammed into the rocks which were also very close by but I got slammed into the sand and I remember my neck cracking and then I passed out I just completely blacked out and like the next thing I remember is Siobhan was like holding me and like this is so embarrassing because I was a lifeguard right um but it was so embarrassing so and I remember Josh I could I woke up hearing Josh yelling like is she okay is she okay and Siobhan's like I don't know I don't know and that was it like um yeah it just completely knocked me out uh, I haven't ever blacked out in water before and that really scared me because I was like, what the heck happened? Um, and so the Lord really protected me there. Like, it, it was amazing that Siobhan, like, got to me so quickly. I I don't know how long I was in the water passed out for. I don't think it was very long. Um, but it was good that Siobhan got to me so fast. Um, and that really rattled my cage. But then it made me think of another instance um, that the, the Lord's so amazing, like, because he protects me. And for some reason... A lot of it has to do with me being in water. <laughs> um, but another instance was quite a few years back. It was like when we moved here and we went to a Victoria camp. Um, and it was just like a few of us. And Josh and I didn't have Ray at the time. And it, we only had Rosie. Bear wasn't even in the picture. And it was Rosie. And we went to a Victoria camp. And I remember we were um, uh, going to go rafting and like tubing down the river um, over at this spot that we were camping at in Victoria, we had some vis visitors from Australia as well. I don't know if Ed and Tan, I don't think you guys went to that. No, but um, so anyways, Rosie was little and we were all rafting and Pastor Mark um, didn't say like, oh, you have to be careful. Like it gets really fast and deep around this point. You have to be careful. You have to make sure you veer away from there's logs. And he didn't, he didn't really tell us what was going on, um, which is fine. He probably didn't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, so we're all rafting. It was getting deep. It was getting fast. The water is getting fast and deep. And Rosie was in my inner tube. Um, and um, we were coming around a bend and we couldn't really see around the corner. And she decided she was going to jump off of my inner tube. And I was like, oh, okay, eh. you know, I'll just, you know, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Um, and when we came around the corner and I saw her, she was not fine. Um, she was there was a bunch of like fallen logs, like laying over the, the one side of the river. It was a pretty big river, pretty wide. And it was deep and the water was quick and she was getting sucked towards the logs and about to get sucked under the logs, um, which would have been really bad. 
Um, and so I didn't think about it. Like I just jumped out of my inner tube. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, and I jumped out of my inner tube and there I went, I was getting sucked towards the logs and Rosie. And I remember I got to Rosie um, and she was get getting sucked under, she was freaking out and I got her, I was able to pull her away. Um, my dad remembers this very well. <laughs> um, and then I got sucked under. And I remember my hand was holding onto the log and I was already under the log. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't see anything. And I remember feeling like this peace and comfort, um, thinking, okay, well, it's been a good run cast. Like, you know, like, hope you're right with God. Cause you might be, you know, you don't know. Um, and I remember like, I couldn't hold on anymore. And I was trying to hold on with my toes to the top of the log while I was underneath the water um to try to like not slip and my hand will completely go under the log and i remember I, my foot slipped and my hand was going under that log and i don't know if i would have made it out but then all of a sudden i felt a hand and i was like lord please help me and all of a sudden it was a hand and i don't know how dad got to me so quick because i don't you're pretty far away right yeah you, he was pretty far away i don't know how he got to me so quick um and then yeah i just remember him just like pulling me out and I was like, praise the Lord, I live to see another day. Um, but I just like was thinking about that. And I was thinking about the ocean and Hawaii. And I was thinking about that instant. <laughs> anyways, anyways um, I just, yeah. So when Josh was like talking about like, oh, like what are your testimonies for like protection or provision? Like I actually can say that the Lord is protecting me quite a bit. And for some reason, a lot of it has to do with water. Um, but yeah, just that kind of popped up in my mind. I thought I'd share that real quick. So thanks.